Hello. I have a uh, closure script application that I'm writing that requires me to have a web server running to serve up content. It's just a simple web server. I don't need to serve up web apps or anything like that. I just need to serve up um, static resources, just an HTML file and some images um, so that I can load image, uh, load an image from the web page into a canvas and then read out that data afterwards. If you do that from different domains, even if you're just running it from the web page uh, locally from a file location, um, it considers that image data you've loaded in um, to be unsecure. So if you try and read it back out, you'll get a security exception. Uh, so I need to run a web server um, so that both the image and the HTML page will be from the same domain. The answer to that is um, Jetty is one of the servers that you can use. Uh, you can run Jetty um, uh, embedded, and uh, I use that with other closure um, projects with Ring. However, I don't want to go through the trouble of that. I just want to run it um, just a standalone web server that I can leave running. So I went and downloaded um, Jetty. You can see here download.eclipse.org slash Jetty. I just got stable 8 and went and got this zip file. And I'll head over to my file explorer here and the directory where I uh, put it and I unzipped it and it was named this so I renamed it to Jetty. If you go in there you'll see that if you do some reading you'll see that you run it with start.jar and uh, then once it starts it'll look in this context directory to find out what URLs that you type in where it's listening on port 8080 map to what um, what applications or how it should serve up the content based on that URL path that you put in. And so the default that it comes with is just anything after the root goes to this test um, XML context which is mapped to um, just a test web app. And I didn't want that. You can see that here in test.xml. Um, it's mapped to the root and it loads up. It's a web app context that loads up web apps forward slash test.war. So I renamed that to dash back so it won't pick up that context file anymore, that configuration, and I created a new one called gh.xml. I just wanted to hit a gh um, folder, but it doesn't have to be named that. Um, it's how it gets picked up is based on this this mapping here. So I've this uh, test XML was mapped to the root, so I renamed that file, and now gh.xml uh, is mapped to the root. And all it does is calls a resource handler, which just serves up static content, so far as I know. Anyways, it works. Um, so when we fire it up, I'll just control C to close this in my command line uh, with java space dash jar space start dot jar it's going to look in that context directory, find my context that is mapped to the root and then say oh okay anything that comes after the root if it doesn't match any other context like this java doc which is think slash java doc um, then it'll just use that resource handler just to serve up that static content so sure enough if you put in slash gh which is an HTML, which I put in there, it'll just serve up this file. Um, so there we go. We've we've downloaded Jetty, we've unzipped it, we've modified a context, and then we just did start uh, Java space dash jar space start dot jar, and now we have a running um, Jetty server. Of course, I went and filled in uh, in Jetty. I created this GH folder and put my content in there, and you can see that Jetty GH is where I'm getting that content from. So this is Jetty's root is at Jetty and then GH and, and my content. And that's it. That should be enough to get you started. If you need the, tu there's a tutorial that showed me um, a lot of how to get this going. I used an old tutorial and then kind of got some hints from here on how to set that up. Um, and that's here, wiki.eclipse.org, Jetty tutorial. You can just pause and get that URL. And that should be enough to get you going so that you can run your own little web server. It's free and uh, relatively easy to set up. And uh, that'll get you going.